Hey there guys, um, as always just going to get straight into it at this point because um, we've got quite a lot to do still. Um, yeah, back on retopology, I'll show the render that we have so far. Um, so the latest render is this. Um, and yeah, so in the last stream we just did the, um, we added the arms and the feet inside of the eyes, inside of the nose. Um, and I've repathed the the loops over the um, over the chin uh, over the chin over the um, shoulder. So now they kind of continue over to the front. Still not entirely keen on this path into the shoulder, but it's not the end of the world. I can deal with it. So especially since it's under cloth, like it's good enough uh, to work. I do want to kind of get something for the um, this corner though. I always forget the name of that, but the bit between the, the deltoid and the um, peck. But yeah, so I need to do the inside of the mouth. That's the plan for today's stream. So that's what I'm going to try to do. Hopefully works out. If not, so be it, I guess. But let's see what we can get done. So something we found in the last stream. I'm going to see if it's slow again. Uh, but something we found in the last stream is that it's getting slow. Like, really slow. Um, so I may be forced to cut the model up into a few more pieces now. Uh, let me just quickly check something. Um, yeah, that looks fine. I'm just going to kill any unnecessary apps. Cool, and we can kill that as well. But yeah, as always, um, feel free to ask questions if you want to. Let's just see what the speed of this is. Yeah, it's still slow. Quad draw tool, once you get past a certain point in polygons, gets really slow. So what I'm going to have to start doing is, let's duplicate this, call it head geo. And let's pick the loop that we want. Which one have I got selected right now? Cool. And then we just go to the body. Do that. So now we've got those two separate pieces. So as long as we don't move these bottom loops, um, like these vertices at the bottom, then we should be fine in terms of matching them back up later. Um, so now we should be able to get a lot faster performance. Um, so let's see. Yeah, much faster now. Cool. So, I'm assuming to do the inside of the mouth, but I do want to adjust a few little things, so let's do that first. Mainly spacing on things like the eyelids. Obviously the eyelids are open, which does kind of change how the um, how the vert should be spaced, because obviously the moment you close the eyes, you're going to get kind of all this pushing back together. Just relax that out a bit. Yeah, I just want to kind of space these a bit more nicely. Cool. So the inside of my alpha may have to just model manually. Um, we'll see about that as time goes on. But I have suspicion that's what we're going to have to do. Also, I've increased the levels of the background audio by 2 dB. Uh, so do let me know if it's too loud. Okay to me. So inside a mouth, how we how we best to do this? And obviously we're gonna need gums as well for this, right? I 
feel like we're best to manually model it. So let's turn that off. grab these I want these to stay horizontal I guess you can go up One thing I may need to do with the mouth is model something basic and then take it into ZBrush to sculpt something out. Cool, so let's extrude that back. I like that though. Let's just move it back. Um, right, so. Where does the bottom, how far down does this bottom bit go? That feels a bit more correct. Cause the tongue needs to rest on top of it, right? So. far back before it starts to go down. And we'll need to close that hole. I'm not sure how it works with the mouth being open. This should be lower, shouldn't it? How does that work? Guy has the world's largest throat. I guess one way to do it would be to grab both of these loops. Flight them. Oh, not like that. Just like that. Circularize components. Really struggles with that, really does not like it. What if I edit edge loop?
not really too keen on how much it's struggling with this. Let's just um Why are you not working? They're not already on X0, are they? Because they visibly aren't lined up. There's a way to circularize it and have it match a certain rotation. So, let's just add the loop there and the edge flow that can sort out the back of the loops for us. We may have to inflate it. And then I guess you would need to be beveled. And then at the edge flow of that guy. to get some ref at the inside of someone's throat. That's gonna be lovely. All right, so let me see if I can find uh, inside mouth. I'm gonna get some awful results from searching this, I can tell. Yeah, it's like 90% diseases, lovely. Um, okay, so. It's always surprisingly smooth in there, which really makes you feel uneasy. <laughs> so how does all this work then? Do I try to model the gums in? Okay. 
great if you could like not act that way. Um, Cool, so uh, let's alt save. Uh, you might quite play golf with friends like that. Uh, yeah, we could do. I'm up for that. So, how the fuck do we do? We just turn that into a rounded corner. Yeah, sorry, I didn't uh, see your message until just now. No idea how much of a delay there is, but I imagine it's not short. Especially since I actually didn't have YouTube open when you sent that message. separate. Because strictly speaking I need it to do a shape more like that.
How do I fix this? If anyone's wondering what I'm doing, don't worry, I am too. I feel like it's not even worth doing what I'm currently doing. Especially since that should be travelling upwards slightly, shouldn't it? Because the draw itself is pointing down. Oh yeah, that's exactly what I should be doing.
What have I learned today? I don't understand draw anatomy. I need to read up on that. Um, let's just play. I feel like I should be deleting that button. down a lot sooner than I give it credit for. The sculpting tools, there they are. Smooth.
had to fix that loop. Really conveniently, it's 32 sides, which means it's going to be quite easy to um, multi cut across this thing. In fact, what I should do first extrude this and just do that. Yep. 
So, tongue technically should be modeled into the same part of the mesh, but I'm not doing that. I also feel like I should make this symmetric, like, at the top. How would that work, actually? Let's duplicate the head for a moment. And just delete out everything that isn't gums. some target welding, I guess. Um, what is the bent look for? Target weld. So it's like it won't work to me. Unless I just welded it up way too high. I cut it up way too high, sorry. going to waste as it were. So from the middle point, um, how many? One, two, three, four. Fourth one goes to the gums. So I need one, two, three, four. So that point onwards needs to be deleted. It's a lot higher than I'd expect. Uh, 
which means all these edges need to be slid out. So vertex target world. Do mesh the center instead. the correct one, it's just a mess. So I guess time to fix these.
first one's got a cross. Oh, that is the correct one. I know because they line up. Right. Bridge these two. Let's try to bridge instead. Mismatch. So what does that mean I've done? So what's going on? Why can I connect you but not you? If we stop putting it inside of mouth is such a nightmare. It's something I've never tried before, and it's something I don't think I'll ever try again. <laughs> Alright, so... I should line up, so why is that not... Because, like, that and that are the corresponding edges. Merge. work. Okay, let's take a different approach. Let's delete this. Duplicate you. And let's just... We're going to need to duplicate it twice, but... Delete from like that point back before we even. Right, took it that much. 
right, so now... That needs to remain 32 no matter what we do. Oh, there's the issue. We got a five point there. We don't have one up here. So... We gotta do math for teeth. Well, he doesn't have teeth, so I'm not gonna worry too much about teeth. I might add one or two in there just for character, but... Um, he doesn't have any, so I'm not gonna worry too much about those. The only reason I'm doing this is just to kind of learn how the fuck to do it. Because honestly, I have no idea how this is done. I feel like it's more of a project in of itself to do, like, you know, good inside of a mouth. So... That's the issue. Alright, so we got you. Now we want you. Modify center pivot. Screams. So many screams. Um, no, I need to keep this. here. So these polygons need to be way more spread out. I think the problem is, is that that's the middle of the mouth and the middle of the mouth is near the top. So that's the midpoint. That's down here. Which edge is the midpoint again? Okay, that's the midpoint. God, it's so confusing. Um, Cool. So, hide you. Alright, don't need to hide you. 
Just need these three. Okay. So there's one edge below it. And that one has two, so let's go down one more loop. So that in theory is now symmetric about the y position. So delete u and back, delete u and back. These are now symmetric. I've never had to fight so hard, some fucking topology. Um, let's combine these. Merge, center. Merge to center. Now it'd be 32. That's still 32. Good. Right, okay. Progress. Um, so now we need to grab all of this shit. In fact, we need to grab. Um, oh shit, what's going to be the best way to do this? Grab the gums, I guess. And the roof of the mouth. to get all of this compressed the fuck down. That's now attachable. So I worry about making all this stuff like semi-presentable later, although I would like to fix this now. This can now be combined to the head. This is gonna be fun. So, combine. Go for this point and back, just delete it. And let's go to the lip line. Let's go to you. Just do that. got that and we want this to come in with it. Combine. I'll fill in a 
the ground just realized it's buzzing. So now I've got these combined. Side of a mouth that is connected. So now I need to find the right place for them to go, which is an entirely different task. Relax, Tool. You are the most beautiful thing.
So now what do I do? Fuck. Um. Song maybe? What's more induced? Come on. There we go.
Am I wasting time? I think I'm wasting time. Like, unnecessarily so, even for my standards. Let's just quickly pull this forward. Yeah, I might delete basically this entire stream's work and just model the gums and tongue separate. I could keep the gums in there. Tongue and bit I'm gonna do separate, so let's quickly get rid of that. Yeah, because when I smooth this, I can actually sculpt that. Well, that's a sculptable mesh. Cram some teeth in there when I need to. Cool, yeah, that can do as a base mesh. So let's get a quick tongue in there. is we do need the tongs kind of flick up at the end. And this should get us in a position where the next stream can um block out the, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Next stream should be the one where we're able to connect ears and start UVing, and then we can get back into sculpting. Straight away. 
It's one of those where the tongue is actually surprisingly thick towards the back, right? Let me just put this in a layer quickly and lock it. Maybe not that thick, but you get the idea. Let's get the ref. So it's hard to tell exactly what it's doing. It was this image. So it looks like, I mean, I did sculpt it. We could use the sculptor's ref for a sec. But to me, it looks like the tongue is pulled up. It's like the tip of the tongue is facing the roof of the mouth. That's how that appears to me. So that's what I'm gonna attempt it. Um, let's just quickly. Yeah, so that's how I sculpted it. So let's put you in a layer and just match this up. a wide tongue. I guess actually that's So at this point it's attached to the, um, his tongue is too long, isn't it? Let's quickly throw that same material on these guys. Skin wireframe. Choices of your world hunt me down inside. I should and go, I should and hide. This is head to you again.
Figure out where Tong ends. I feel like his mouth is too wide, isn't it? I know because we already tested that and it was fine. We'll need to sculpt this. We'll definitely need to sculpt this, but for now, let's uh. Probably. Geo. What's that? the um the year obviously oh and the legs so we need to close that hole in a moment but let's um forgotten which way around it was. It's that way around, right? Hey, some time it's taking? Apparently not. Mistake, I think. Um, um,
So that's a reprojected one. And that's the high res. Fuck's sake, what's going on? too late. There we go, so. Go there eventually. So, now we can hide this group. So we've got the transferred one, which has all the details. And we have the transferred one, which is missing all details. So now we need to blend shape that to that. Thank you. 
There we go. So we're gonna need to make that visible again. two meshes that intersect in this area so it kind of confuses the uh, the projection a little bit something in place. We're getting closer. It's kind of been like one of those streams where I didn't really achieve much, but we've got something. So let's... Um, Let's start on a quick eye, just so we've got something. I'll finish the stream at about half nine, I guess. So that gives us another 45 minutes. So, I'm modeling time. kind of want to play with is getting um, getting a smoother result out of these meshes. Let's see if um, if we can get something that works. Because one of the things that bothers me a bit is that this is always over simplified. Oh, let's turn that off. Like that feels over simplified to me. Kind of want to get the topology to actually match the shape. Um, easiest way, I imagine, is to start combining like this sort of shit. Um, but I'm not sure how you actually combine these meshes. if we combine these or boolean them
would have been better to use a um, regular sphere, I guess, right? proper hash of this, but so be it. Combine. So let's merge verts. So, we've got an eye, well, the outside of an eye. I feel like this front section's a bit too large. So let's... Sculpt the form around that. Um,
I need to find out what angle that actually should be. This edge is definitely too defined. So let's go to that and bevel this. There we go. Nipple. Ugh, really? <laughs> so now we need to make the inside of the eye, right? So let's create another sphere. that 32 as well. Let's make that 32, fuck it, why not? So, obviously we're going to need to sculpt the ever looking shit out of this, but... super basic UVs. Um, for now, we will just what's the word I'm looking for? Um, mapping. Don't know that.
Right, so that's uh, my kind of template. We're also going to need something just to quickly block the light. So let's just create a little cube. Flatten him. Actually, let's just move him once. Uh, deform. Sculpt. There it is. to instance this and this one can be called um, that's his left eye resist moving the um, geometries because I'm instancing a group right now which gives me quite a lot of power um, so I can adjust the size of stuff in the actual base group so I'll edit duplicate that special just move that over so I want that to be Cool. And then that guy we need to be called right eye, because I'm an idiot, and then put it on screen left. So now in theory what happens when we move this one, it moves in all the groups. So we can hide that now. And basically whatever we do to these guys gets done to everything. Soften that corner a bit more. It's not um, assigning the materials though, so let's try that again. Doesn't like the instancing, that's for sure. So, what I need to do quickly is check. scale of this. So if I create a sphere again, I want to scale this to about 2.4. So that's the size that I should be. Well, that feels wrong. Why is that so huge? Why is that so huge? No way, that's right. Is 
my head too small? I guess we need to stop in this and get that way. So let's just drag these out. Okay. Duplicate them. Move them out. There's something in place. So the next stream is the one where we actually connect the um, the ears up and start UVing. Stream after that, we can actually start sculpting again. So do super quick shading. Actually, why did I do that? settings aggressive so let's create
Oh yeah, the color picking problem. Um, he's so baked. base cover. Cool. We want to enable core sticks, which if I remember is done in here. There we go. That's a good place to do the end of string render. So let's turn that off. Do another alt save. And I'm really paranoid right now, so let's go to perspective, alt save again, and alt save again. Cool. We got backups of our backups. Cool. Well, that's it for today's stream. Um, next stream, which may or may not be tomorrow. Um, We'll connect the ears up to the head and do the final bits of topology kind of cleanup. Um, so things like um, getting the collarbone sorted. We'll go back to the low res before we do that because I need to um, um, close the legs and stuff as well. So yeah, but I think you know, doing eyes has probably made the biggest difference. We spent most of our time inside the mouth, which now looks like this. When we shade it, it'll be even darker. So uh, you can argue this entire stream is kind of a, a write-off, but yeah, it's, it's part of the process. But yeah, so I'll let this render out and yeah, I'll end the stream. But I hope you guys have enjoyed it and learned something. I want to go play golf with Cassie and Becca and probably John and Jack. Um, but yeah, so enjoy seeing that guys and hopefully see you in the next stream. Bye-bye. Thank you.